Good morning. It is Sunday again. Last Sunday, I went to my sister's house and then came back and at the end of the day, I realized I had about a minute and a half of video, which really wasn't enough for a whole vlog video, but I made one anyway. It was a minute long and it had a kitten in it. A kitten and some chickens. Anyway, yesterday I built my new computer. I'm so pleased with it. It's awesome. It's going to make video editing so much easier. Today I'm going to my brother's house because my family is still in town and I'm going to try to remember to film a little bit more than one minute of video. I already did the sunrise. Check it out. The sunrise is great this morning. I didn't record too much. I admit it's a time lapse. That's why you still hear me talking because drones don't record video. Time to make some coffee. Ugh, I should shave. I look kind of nasty. Probably shower too. I already put my shirt on, but it's only been a minute or two. I can take the shirt off and clean myself and put the shirt back on. Time to make some coffee. Fortunately, I forgot to buy my coffee mix. I don't mean instant coffee. I'm the stuff you put in the coffee to make less coffee. Like cream or soy milk or my preferred chocolate soy milk. CKCU starting at 8.05 in the morning right after the BBC World News Report. We'll run for an hour and we've got a lineup of very talented and interesting individuals who'll be contributing and I'm excited. Never been on the radio before other than a couple of interviews. I had an interview with uh, Dahlia on um, 580 CFRA and the Milkman on his online radio station a couple of years back after the incident on the bus. <laughs> other than that, I've never been on the radio, so this is going to be quite a bit of fun. About a week ago, I went to CKCU to meet up with the program manager and to do a bit of a training session on how to use all the equipment there. They have a lot of nice stuff. It's not too much to, to get used to, but it's definitely going to have a little bit of a learning curve, but I'm confident that I'll be able to do it all pretty well. There might be a few mistakes here and there, but hey, it's community radio. It's not super corporate, hits FM, radio style, whatever. I'm excited for that. I'll leave a link, if I remember, in the description for where to go and see it. Well, the radio show. To listen, because you can listen live online, or you can listen live locally on the radio at 93. You'd think I'd have this memorized by now. 93.1 FM in Ottawa. CKCU FM is a Canadian community-based campus radio station broadcasting in 93. Station broadcasts 24 hours a day, 365 days per year. That's from Wikipedia. The owner is Radio Carlton Incorporated, and the call sign, the CKCU, stands for Carlton University. I got another drone battery this week. My brother has this idea to go and film the forest over near where he lives, and I'm actually really excited because I think it's a great idea. I've been trying to document the forests and show how they're doing and their current conditions just so that there's a record, things like that, for the future where people can compare and they can say, okay, so the forest was like this at this time and since then we've developed here and here and here and now there's a, a Walmart and 17 giant houses and all that stuff, you know, so that should be great. I've doubled my flight time. That gives me almost almost 40 minutes of flight time with two batteries. Realistically, it'd be closer to about 30, 35 minutes because I have to bring it down and change the battery and fly it back up tight. That takes a couple of minutes there. All right, shower time. Since it is Sunday, I'm gonna do a bit of laundry. Electricity is cheaper on the weekends. I have fallen behind in my house cleaning. Probably have to work on that somewhere on maybe Tuesday. Face is much better. The hair is very poofy though. This is just some of the mess I need to clean up. 
It's now 9.30, so the grocery store should be open now. I can go get some creamer for my coffee and have some more coffee. Very nice. I hate this song. As usual, I've ended up with more than I intended to get. Between all the tools in this corner, we're looking at millions of dollars of equipment that a man who writes 69 all over his benches is in charge of purchasing. When they're so green, it takes a long time. But There's no open air fire ban on, is there? But it doesn't count for uh, open air fire, like bonfire. The babies will eat the plant. Development down the road. Okay. Cut down this big old pine. We figured it was 60, 70 years old. Gave me the logs and I had a guy come from Lanark and uh, mill it for me. Nice. So I got them all stickered and because these are two inch, I have to wait till not this fall but next fall for them to be dry. And here's our garden. Nice. I don't know if I saw it this big. Well, it's always been this size. We just haven't always done it this, like we haven't always used the space in this way. Okay. This is the first year that I did all the planning and most of the planting and stuff. I told Jen, like, you're not allowed to go in the garden unless you're having fun. <laughs> this is not a burden. And Isn't what nice? is this? This a maple tree? Peter's tree. He's very uh, meticulous. He did all the grass stuff. He takes care of it. He waters it regularly. Look what he did over here. He put all this grass down. <laughs> he decided we were saving this raspberry bush. So he put this nice artisanal, like, gravel uh, border with the grass uh -huh. underneath like <laughs> he's quite the uh he was the one that would help me clean up all the toys at our house and <laughs> nice. he was frustrated because malachi was getting them right back out and this we moved back here we did have this place structure on the gravel there but the kids love carting gravel all over the yard which i try to live and let live but that's a little bit hard to so because of the uh, the ice storm we had this spring the city of ottawa was giving away free wood chips for the longest time Oh, nice. So I went and got some wood chips, threw it down. You even have plane. some little things growing up in it. Yeah, they look like mostly maples. Yep. Manitoba maples? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sour cherry tree from Lindenburg. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still hanging on. So when they gave me the pine, they also, they're like, so do you want more? Do you want more? So I finally had to tell them to stop, but before they stopped, they gave me a bunch of maple logs. So I just cut it up to have camp firewood. So that's all maple that I'm actually sort of trying to keep dry. And then this all over here is more white pine. So it's nice to just have like, now we have years of camp firewood. Look at that, you got it right in the fire. Self-beating fire. Self Whew, that was a fun day. And now I am tired. It is almost 10 o'clock and I must be up early in the morning for the radio show. So, I'm going to sleep now. Thanks for watching everyone.